everyone. Thank you for joining in once again. Last week, you heard my heart. You heard what I was talking about being part of a squad, a family, friends coming together, growing together, and drawing closer to God. That is such an amazing, amazing vision. So today, we're gonna to talk about how do you strengthen that squad? How to become closer together as a family. Uh, and be but before we do, can I just say one thing? We get together on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and on Sunday nights. I'll put all the times and places below. Please, if you wanna be a part of those groups or kind of come and just connect with us, give me an email or text, whatever it may be, call me. I want you to be a part of this family and just learn about God together. Um, so, side note. Now, let's talk about strengthening the family. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I say kid, I was probably 17 or 18. We were driving around. I was part of my best friend's club. It was me and Ben Leach, Sarah Rodriguez, Sarah Leach at the time, but Sarah Rodriguez, Phil Berthium, and Scotty. I think it wasn't all of us though in the car. And we were coming back from Wells Beach or something and we were hanging out and it's about a 30 minute drive home. And somehow, some way, Ben and I got into a fight. Uh, it was a ridiculous fight. I don't know why. We just started fighting and we, some words were thrown at each other, pretty mean. And it went right into the silent treatment. I mean, if you know anything about the silent treatment, it's the most deadliest weapon you have because they want to talk to you, but you just keep your mouth shut. But both of us were doing it. We weren't, we weren't even looking at each other. We were, we were so angry. And I don't even remember why to this day. So all the way home, I can imagine what everyone else was feeling in the car, probably the most awkward feeling in the world while they're trying to have fun and Ben and I were just angry with each other. And we drive into the driveway and I don't know what it was, maybe it was because God was convicting both my heart and his heart the whole way home. Even though we were angry, there was just something that wasn't right inside of us and it was just, it felt dirty. And I was just like, God, what do we do? Like, what am I, am I gonna ask for forgiveness? Like, am I gonna say sorry? Like, what is this? So we pull in the driveway, we get out of the car, and of course, before you know it, Ben and I are apologizing to one another. We couldn't even leave the driveway without getting rid of this anger that we were having towards one another, and we forgave each other. Let me tell you something, it is so important as friends and family members and people who are Christians, even if you don't like the people you hang out with sometimes, I get it, but it's so important that you forgive people. And I'll tell you why. It's not just for them, it's for you. Because if you have unforgiveness in your heart, there's this bitterness that will start growing up inside of you and it creates a wall between you and that person and you will never be able to be fully fully like in a relationship with God. Because I'll tell you, unforgiveness creates that bitterness inside which separates you from God. You won't fully get everything God has for you. And that stinks. And so here's what I'm gonna to say to you. And it's Colossians 3, and it's one of my most favorite verses growing up. And, because, and I'll tell you why. It's a verse that really focuses on how I can better myself. So this is a verse that you can use that will better yourself. And you become a better family member and a better squad as a whole. And it's this, Colossians 3, and I'm gonna read 12, even though I'm really gonna be focusing on 13, I'm gonna be from 12 all the way to 14, and then we'll go from there. Therefore, as God's chosen people, God's chosen, he chose you, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, here's a kicker, patience. <laughs> Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you have grievances against someone, listen, forgive as the Lord forgave you. What was our main point for today? Let me go back. It says, we can do for others what God has done for us. He sent his son Jesus to forgive us from our sins. Okay, let's go back to the verse. And it says, the last part, and over all of these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. We can do anything if God is, in our, is, 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 is our focus. And especially if you have a team and a family going for the same goal, striving for the same things, 
you can do anything. We're unstoppable because that unity. But that unity isn't talking about just being part of the squad. It's talking about how you treat people inside of you by putting on love and kindness, love and compassion, love and humility, love and gentleness, and love and patience. Wow. I love that verse. You probably can tell. So as a family, as a squad, as, as you guys are going out through this week, I want you to remember one thing, one thing, forgive one another. I want you to be thinking about how inside, if you don't forgive that person, you will allow this wall to start being built brick by brick. Before you know it, there is such a huge wall between you and that person. You will not be able to, to live out the fullness that God has given you, the God that God wants you to live in. Forgiveness is a huge, huge thing when it comes to building relationships and being part of a squad. So love you guys. I hope this message helps you this week. Forgive your friends, forgive your family, forgive everyone that you walk in or have encounters with. Love them. Colossians 3, 12, read it over and over and over again. Let it build you up as a person so that when you become part of a squad, you're a strong team member and a strong member to help other people grow closer to God. Awesome. See you guys next week.